Can you guess what this plant is? If you said ginger, then you were very right. This is ginger, and we're going to be talking all about it in today's video, all about the uses of ginger, all about a bit of the anatomy of ginger, and also how you can harvest it and grow it yourself, 100% organic, super simple, easy, and affordable. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, thank you all so much for joining in. This is Dylan from the Trinity Gardener channel and I'm really happy for this video because we're going to be talking about something that has been part of gardens, home gardens and commercial gardens for literally thousands of years. Like we have been using ginger as human civilization for thousands of years. It's I think originated in Southeast Asia there where you know they're just known for a lot of spices and eventually was migrated over to our side of the world. I know you can find ginger in pretty much any country. I think it's actually one of the first sets of crops to be like sort of um, exported in such a big massive quantity because ginger was just simply known to have so many medicinal benefits. People have been using it for thousands of years to help with things like ulcers, stomach aches, vomiting, nausea and even today it is still helping people with nausea, helping people with being, um, you know, over anxious, helping with just many things to calm people down. Um, ginger is just amazing. So many other medicinal benefits of ginger, but it's just something amazing to grow in your garden. And besides having the medicinal properties, you can also use it obviously in your cooking. I mean, if you're having pork, I mean, ginger and pork just pairs amazingly. I mean, I think that, you know, in my opinion, that's a really good combination. I don't know what you all think about ginger. I have a, this is me oversharing, but um, I have a thing with too much of ginger in food, like too much of ginger in chicken or whatnot. I'm not a huge fan of that. But so for some reason, in pork is just amazing. Anyways, we're not here to talk about my culinary preferences. We're going to be talking about ginger. And to be honest, ginger is really um, something super simple to grow. It's one of those plants. Now, I know I say this for a few different plants already. I said it for sweet potatoes, I said it for yam, but in my opinion, ginger is one of those plant and forget it kind of crops. It's a crop that I would not like this here, everything that you see inside here, and I'll give you a little close up in a minute. Everything that I have inside here, I've never watered. I've never even, you know, come and check to see if anything is going on, whatever the case is, I've never worried about it because it's just a plant that's just designed to grow really, really well, especially in our climate. It's one of those things, and this is what I always try to say in my videos, is grow things that grow well in your climate. A lot of people are trying to grow things that really aren't suited for Trinidad. Yes, they may be able to grow. Yes, you may be able to get a fruit from them with a lot of money spent, a lot of energy, a lot of time spent on them. But, and that's fine if you want to do that. But why not plant some things as well, or the majority of things, as things that will just grow. No matter what you do, they are just going to grow because they're from here. They're native. Or even if they aren't originally from here, here, Southeast Asia, as I said, that's where ginger originated, to Trinidad, the weather is pretty much the same. It's tropical, rainy season, dry season, hot temperatures, lots of sweat, same temperature, same climate, right? So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be taking you all to a clip where I harvested some ginger a while ago. And that's not going to be this ginger here because this ginger, I'm not going to be harvesting it today because as you will see in the clip that's coming, I had some ginger and it was a little bit, it was ready, but it wasn't fully ready. And I was just a bit too anxious. So I harvested it and um, that's what we're going to be doing for our harvest part of the video. But here, let me just talk about what I would be doing for harvesting this. Ginger is something that you don't actually have to harvest all of it when you're harvesting. Like you could pull out a head or two when you're ready, but this, if you can see here, we, you can see some dry bits, the leaves are turning yellow, right? That is a good sign that your ginger is ready. Now, ginger is usually ready within 90 days. Um, so that's about three months. It's going to start to be ready. I would say push it to five to six months really for your ginger, right? And even longer, I mean, you could have, like, let's say you have ginger planted in just a patch in your land or whatever the case is. It's easy probably for you to come in after six months, harvest out some of the heads, some of the, some of the not roots, right? Um, it's actually the rhizome, which is different than the root, the rhizome, the ginger itself, that's a rhizome, all right? It's not the root itself, but we consider it to be a root crop. We consider it to be the ginger root, um, the rhizome, right? Uh, what we call the root. You can just harvest out a bit of that and leave the rest in the ground because ginger will grow across 
and send out more shoots and it will actually create more ginger over time if you're able to do so now of course if you live in a temperate country and you have winter coming then you have to have this all at the same time if you're planted in containers like i have it right here um then you kind of have to have this all at the same time it's going to be harder to harvest um just some and leave some in the container because it's all going to fall apart and to be honest that's fine because sometimes you really have to separate the soil from the container to really get um, everything from a ginger but leave it for at least five to six months all right as i said from three months you're going to start having some ginger but that's not ideal right and really the design for it to be ready is when you get a few leaves looking sort of like this here where you see there's yellow all around and then there is brown here then that's a good sign that your ginger is ready and there is like, i can see some nice chunks of ginger here because it's just a plant that likes to grow i mean it likes to grow especially in our culture in our our geographical location is what i'm trying to say um but you um you can leave it until this is entirely dead until the leaf looks something like this and even when the leaf all the leaves start to die that's when you know for sure your ginger is ready you don't have to worry about the ginger like necessarily rotting right the ginger is going to stay there pretty well the only thing is that if you're having too much of rain a lot of moisture can cause problems on your roots anything that's too close to the, the soil lots of rain you can have things like some fungus problems you can have some um some terrible types of um, worms that may come in and attack your ginger other organisms it doesn't have to be worms i just kind of always say worms but it doesn't have to necessarily be a worm um and you can have those issues when you have too much of moisture this is sort of the same thing that happens with sweet potatoes too much of moisture you leave your sweet potatoes in a little bit longer than you have to and um you can have problems with these sweet potatoes um, by just overkeeping it in a place that has too much of moisture. Moisture itself creates these issues. That's why you see a lot of uh, market goods going up in price when it's during the rainy season like we have been seeing in Trinidad um, at this point in time. I'm filming this today, the day that I upload this. So this is um, the 1st of November, right? So lots of moisture, lots of rain, high prices in the market. And it sort of kind of goes hand in hand. Lots of moisture high prices because goods are not as easy to grow as they were in the dry season or when you had a bit more moderate kind of moisture in the country okay there we go so we have a bucket of ginger here that i planted a while back here i have just some bandania that was growing in because i have bandania seeds all over the place very often they will just float around and just grow in whatever all right so i'm gonna start pulling these off as i said these were just in the ground about four months they did start to go yellow on the tips but you can see that the produce that i'm getting is not very very massive because of the fact that they could have stayed a uh, well over a next month two months right just taking out some more um it's again nothing impressive at all i mean it's in a bucket so anything grown in a container i don't ever complain about whatever i get i get because anybody can do this no matter where you live even if you're on a high rise on the 14th floor you could still grow your own ginger at home right uh, this is the first proper head that i'm getting here and i'm just so happy the smell at this point is just just overtaking everything the smell of ginger because even the greens has a really good smell so you can see that and here you can actually see a good representation of what i was saying which is that you have the rhizome the rhizome is a few ginger and here you can see a bit of root over here we have a bit more right just pulling that out not very much right but still happy for every bit that i get and i could have left it let it continue growing and shooting up even more to grow more ginger inside of this container but i was just so excited i just let everything go um just pull it up right um just really happy really happy with the harvest and the smell so far right the dirt itself was however still kind of hard so i um decided to you know i felt around a bit more right um I knew that there was more it stuff was underneath the there, um, but there's no way I was getting so it off kind of by uh, getting it out of the ground, as well as out of the bucket. Right. Um, like Cutting that, I had to actually yeah. empty the entire thing out. Right, be a bit rough with the bucket. Now, important, when we're planting ginger, you can see on the bucket, we have some drainage holes. Much, now, this bucket has gotten so much of that no, no, because I'm handling it really, really, um, really, really harshly. Right, but you do need the drainage holes at the bottom, right, because your ginger can't get root rot just like anything else right so make sure and have the holes at the bottom for drainage 
more holes the better the water the soil isn't going to leak out with the water you're going to be fine right so just had to work a bit harder because this was a bit clay soil but ginger really does not like really care is really any picky at all of course if it's compost it'll come out easier but we still got it out and look at the size of ginger we had inside this bucket look how big this head is 100 percent organic fresh ginger grown in a bucket how amazing is that and this could have gotten bigger you see so you see how the rhizome actually like creeps its way around and grows more sprouts as it goes yeah that's what you're gonna have happen and especially if you grow in the ground um you can have ginger growing in a massive massive area because the ginger itself based on whatever you plant it will continue creeping continue extending horizontally and then grow vertically right and here you can see an even better representation of the roots the roots are those stringy things you're seeing underneath so the rhizome is what we call the ginger root but it's not a root it's a rhizome and it's actually an extension of the stem it's just a bit bloated version of the stem but you know whatever it is we'll so continue nice. calling it ginger root and we'll continue enjoying it wow. in our meals and also using it for medicine but i was just really really happy so so happy to have this um to have this happen in just a bucket right and to be able to capture it on tape for you all and um just kind of moving apart the dirt here just to get a see if um there's anything more right um just a little bit of a head i was seeing here i'm uh, just pulling it out there is some more little um bits and pieces right you always want to get as much as you can right but i would say for a harvest that i didn't let go to go completely to term i was fairly happy with it right and just you can see how the dirt is falling apart right that's really really important you know whenever you're asking no about dirt i know it's you know dirt can just sound like dirt right but let's look how it, it's clumped together here as soon as you squeeze it it falls apart and crumbles that's how you know you have a good ratio of drainage but also water retention in your soil right it can clump together stick together but then fall apart right so we're just going to go quickly into planting back look at the dirt again clump together fall apart that's what you want right clump together fall apart and um just gonna break up all the clumps because we're going to be planting back the ginger into this exact same bucket my camera person was really worried that the bucket wouldn't be able to plant anything again but believe it or not this bucket is a bucket that i'm holding in the video where i started off this video on so it's the exact same plant that was planted over and that was the result from this that i'm planting here and there you go that's how simple it is to grow and to harvest your own ginger to plant your own ginger you really have nothing to worry about with ginger it's one of the perfect beginner crops just get a container put some ginger roots in it, the ginger rhizome look for the head make sure the head is facing up and you're good to go you're going to be able to harvest some ginger within five to six months if you're very excited from three months four months you can start pulling it up to see but if you really are able to and you're able to distract yourself wait until that six month period and you're going to get bigger bits of uh, rhizome and you're going to have a lot more to share with your friends to share with your family and to of course use for your own uses in the kitchen and for your medicinal uses as well remember if you know somebody who'd be interested in growing more healthy food and like a superfood like ginger really is then feel free to share this video but also share the channel with them and let's help them to grow more healthy organic food that's super affordable that's self-sustainable and that they can have right at home in their garden in even if they live in an apartment and they really have space for a garden for an actual backyard garden in a container bucket they can have their own ginger growing and you'll be really helping them out doing them a big favor in these times where we need as much help as we can from as many people as possible to grow our own food remember that if you want to see more content come out to training gardeners garden then you can feel free to follow us on instagram tiktok and facebook and you can also tag us on any of those platforms because it's such a motivation to see you all in your garden doing your own thing, spending time with your family, spending time with yourself, with nature, and really doing and applying all the things that we are learning in these videos. Remember that if you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me on any of the platforms that I've mentioned before. And I'm happy to get back to you on anything that you might need some clarification on. Remember, as always, this has been the Lemon and Trini Gardener channel reminding you to get up and get green. Take care.